This is NEM 2015 and I'm here with Pete Smith, Managing Director, Antenna International. Welcome to NEM, Thank welcome you. to Dubrovnik. Uh, your uh, panel uh, just finished uh, FTAs beating the economic slump. Um, and as I understood, all of you agreed that the slump is over, we're done. And we're, somebody said, uh, I think we're stable. Somebody said we're, um, uh, the word is, I don't know, uh, uh, I say stable, it sounds much better. Um, do you agree? I do agree. I think we're now, we've seen the biggest drops uh, materialize and now we're seeing the first early signs of single digit growth in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we debated as a panel really was would we see very, very strong high growth in each country in the way we did in Western Europe where the drop was dramatic and the rebound was dramatic. I think the sense of the panel was that the rebound would be more steady, mm -hmm. small incremental steps each year ahead, but certainly a sense of rebounding. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the audience was, uh, throughout the whole time, was here and watching television and demanding more and more, and um, the audience here in this region is very spoiled. They want it all and they want it uh, uh, good. Uh, so uh, how, do you, uh, how do you deliver uh, in terms of, I don't know, 30% less uh, in revenue? Hmm. Now that's a challenge. So um, the things we talked about on the panel was we had to do the following things. Not totally rely on advertising revenue as a model going forward, but rely on subscription revenues, new business model, digital revenues. Had a lot of debate about SBOD and how much that can replace advertising revenue on a long-term basis, and there's a mixed view on that because it's nascent in the region. But my view is that we have to chase after it as hard as we can and try and find models that will work. And the third thing then is obviously looking at our obviously looking at our cost base. You know, how many people have we got? How much are we producing shows for? Mm -hmm. And put pressure on our cost base, mm -hmm. which all of us have streamlined. Yeah, you have to do it. You have to just do it. Got no choice. You said something on the panel. You said something about uh, co-productions between, especially between Serbia and Croatia, in mm. terms of yeah. drama series. Yeah, do you we've been forced into that marriage. Mm -hmm. We've uh, so we've got the first shows finished, which was X Factor that we both broadcast. Second up is Big Brother, which is a mixed house of uh, Croatian and uh, Serbians. Mm -hmm. So that, that'll go in the autumn. So again, and, and this marriage has been forced together by, by the ec economic situation and, it, and it's working fine and, and we get to share the production costs. Where we had a lot of debate is whether a scripted drama can work multi-territory and when it's not English language. And that really has not really been achieved significantly. I think someone mentioned Sophie's Choice. I think that Sophie's Choice was mm -hmm. maybe the exception. But we've got to try and find more things in that space and we started talking about how could we win that. I I'm optimistic and think we can find projects that will travel. As you heard on that panel, there's some people who are more concerned and think it'll be difficult to find drama that fits the different cultures of mm -hmm. co-producing mm -hmm. countries, let alone the language issue, once it, you mm -hmm. know, just the cultural softer issue, it's difficult to get around. I think you can find workarounds. There are common themes of, you know, make sure you've got great writing, great cast, good production mm -hmm. quality. And I think the Turks and the Americans have shown this, you can mm -hmm. do it if you put those, that combination together. Thank you very much. No problem.